Hello children, in this video I am going to explain you about the Holozoic nutrition and the steps of nutrition. Okay, so here the what is the nutrition already I have told you in the previous video that obtaining food and utilizing it by the body cells by the body cells is called the nutrition so here the nutrition is the process in which living organism obtain or uh, synthesize the food and convert it and the conversion in that way so that it can be utilized by the body cells now when we talk about the holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition is the feeding with the solid food materials that means the solid food items when we are feeding they, that is called the holozoic nutrition so basically the holozoic nutrition is done by the most of the animals so that is the solid food items are there and this type of nutrients uh, nutrition is called the holozoic nutrition so this uh, the human being and the animals are dependent on the solid food items now what are the steps in the nutrition one by one we will study about this steps in nutrition how the nutrition takes place so basically there are five steps what is that the first one is the ingestion Okay. Then the second one is the digestion. Then the third is the absorption. Okay. And fourth is assimilation. And the fifth one is Digestion. First, I will tell you in brief that what these processes are: ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and digestion. So, all together, these are the steps in the nutrition. Now, what is ingestion? Ingestion is simply the food when it goes inside the mouth. Now, this process, the process of taking food inside the mouth is called the ingestion. Because you see, food cannot go by itself in your mouth. You have to take the bite in your hand and then bring it near to the mouth and then put it inside the mouth. So, only this much process, this is called the ingestion process. Okay. So, first step is what? Ingestion. Because you see, without this process, the digestion, the nutrition is not possible. Okay. So, first you have to bring the food inside your mouth. So, only this much work is called ingestion. Okay. Now, what is the another step that is the digestion? Once the food is put in the mouth, then what will happen? The digestion process will start. Now, what is digestion process? The process in which this large food items okay just like what you are eating you are eating chapati you are eating rice okay you are eating vegetables you are eating salad okay many things you are eating okay so these are the food items which you are eating so they are the large insoluble molecules okay they are the large insoluble molecules because some are taken uh, some are the uh, cooked one that is the cooked food and some are the raw ones okay so some raw food items also you take but whatever you are taking they are the large insoluble molecules so what happens in digestion that will be brought in a small water soluble molecules water soluble molecules that will be changed and how it will be changed through the action of the enzymes some chemicals will keep on working on it and then the large insoluble food that is the cooked food or the raw material that will be changed into small water soluble 
molecules. These things are not water soluble, but when it is digested, when it is broken into smaller smaller molecules, then it will be digested properly, and then it will be changed into the smaller water soluble molecule. Now the third step is absorption. Now absorption occurs when this small water soluble molecules will get absorbed into the that is into the blood stream okay how they will go through the intestine intestinal wall okay so this intestine through the intestinal wall they will get mixed with to the in the blood stream now blood will carry it okay so simple is what absorption the nutrients okay that will after the digestion the nutrients will get absorbed or get mixed with the blood stream through the intestinal wall so this is called the absorption now children the fourth step is assimilation what is assimilation that when the nutrients are present into the blood stream when they are mixed with the blood then this one will be get adjusted the nutrients present in the blood stream will be absorbed by the body cells okay now the nutrients which are present into the blood stream which are getting mixed in through the intestinal wall that is the absorption process then assimilation is what from the blood stream the nutrients will be absorbed will get adjusted into the body cells or wherever there will be the requirement for what for the energy or for the protoplasm okay the new protoplasm or the repair process the those all uh, the assimilation process will work over there so it is what utilization here what is being done the nutrients are utilized inside the body cell so that is called the assimilation and the last step that is called ingestion ingestion is what that is the removal of removal of solid undigested that is called undigested food through from the body out from the body this is called the feces okay and because this is the unwanted waste okay that means the uh, useless one now this one will cannot be utilized again i want to summarize it that is the ingestion there is difference between these ingestion and egestion so ingestion taking in food in the mouth is called the ingestion digestion is what the conversion of or breaking down of the large insoluble molecules into small water soluble molecules by the action of the enzymes now absorption when the nutrients are uh, um, absorbed into the blood stream through the intestinal wall that is called the absorption assimilation from the blood stream when it goes to the body cells and then body cells will utilize it for the energy and for the formation of the new protoplasm or formation of the new cells then this is called the assimilation and finally the removal of solid undigested food which is not uh, which cannot be used further so in the form of feces it will come out from your body so these are the five steps in the nutrition